Hi, my name is Mark, and I've got some great cruise packing tips for your next Alaskan cruise. But before we get started, I've got a, a website I'd like you to go to. Uh, it's at www.cruisesecretsexposed.com, where you'll find some great information written by an ex-cruise ship officer. It kind of reveals a lot of the ins and outs of the uh, cruise industry and some of the things to look out for. So you should go on over there after this uh, video is over. So let's get started. I mean, the thing that separates uh, the Alaskan cruise from some of the other ones, say a Caribbean cruise, is basically the weather. So it's really important that you uh, bring some warm clothes. The weather can really change dramatically and quickly in Alaska. So if you want to bring a nice uh, warm hat, some gloves, I'd probably bring some warmer gloves than that. Uh, maybe a um, one of these ear uh, warmers. And you want to have some boots that are uh, weatherproof um, because some you know some of the excursions that you may go on, uh, they, they will require that you have the proper footwear uh, to go on this excursion. So you, know, you don't want to get your feet wet. So bring some good boots. You obviously want to bring your passports in, your boarding passes, and all that stuff, but you really want to make sure that you uh, make copies of your medical information and make sure you copy uh, your passports and maybe some uh, credit card uh, information and, and who to call if your uh, inform your credit card information happens to get stolen. So those are uh, really important uh, for you to do. Uh, these are just Ziploc bags. I always pack a lot of Ziploc bags when I travel. I always put anything that's wet. Uh, I pack in a Ziploc bag because the last thing I need to happen um, is for something to leak and then I have to deal with that the first thing I get on my cruise because all my clothes are smell like something or wet so pack lots of Ziploc bags uh, when you're in Alaska you gotta have some binoculars right so when you're on deck or on your balcony looking at the scenery uh, really important to uh, bring some of these I mean if you don't have any I would just go pick them up they're not that expensive let's say Walmart or something uh, I'm a coffee drinker and uh, I bring a, a coffee mug, an insulated coffee mug, because I like to, um, you know, order room service first thing in the morning, get my coffee, and fill up my mug, and go out on deck on my balcony and just enjoy the scenery. And I also bring some of these. Uh, this is a packet of like the creamer. It's my flavored kind of cream that I like. So, um, and you know, maybe some sugars. However you like your coffee, uh, you know, you might want to just bring, you know, what you need. Now, as far as clothing goes, I think you want to think of wearing clothes in, in layers. You know, it, it, like I said, the, the weather can change dramatically uh, in Alaska, so it's really important that you bring something that is going to keep you dry. This is actually a windbreaker and a uh, raincoat. Real important that you have a hood that you can put over your head, and, um, you know, you're thinking layers. So, you know, sweater, uh, then maybe a turtleneck underneath, and then like a long sleeve, real thin, uh, thin shirt like this. You're just thinking layers instead of lugging around a big, a bulky jacket you might uh, want to just bring thinking layers okay umbrella this is a, a, a collapsible small umbrella you know it could rain could you know get kind of nasty out there so having a little umbrella especially on an excursion might be might be helpful uh, unfortunately uh, viruses do spread on cruises and I would consider bringing a can of Lysol now I probably wouldn't bring this big can I'd probably find a travel size can and uh, I probably take some of these uh, Lysol wipes out of this and just put it in the Ziploc bag. Um, you know, I go in the room and, and spray everything down and, and wipe it down because, you know, you've uh, worked hard to get on this cruise and you don't want to get sick. Uh, I've, they will actually, if you do get the virus, they'll actually quarantine you in the room until you are feeling better for at least 24 hours. So the last thing you want to do is get sick, so just take some precautions. This is uh, actually my kid's hand sanitizer. Um, so make sure you bring some hand sanitizer too and use it frequently. Uh, this is my uh, like my iPod uh, docking stereo system that I have. Um, love to bring this thing on the cruise. I love to have my own music. This thing is uh, powered by uh, batteries and by this cord right here. So if you can pick one of these up or have one, definitely bring it. It's definitely worth uh, having your own music in your room. I like to bring um, a little sticky notepad so I can leave notes for my room store. Uh, you know, in case you need more towels or whatever. Uh, bring some gum because they don't sell gum on the ship. If you're a gum chewer, uh, you know, might want to consider bringing some of those, some of that. Come on over here. Uh, packaged snacks. Uh, you know, I would bring some. You know, they, they have plenty of food, obviously, on the cruise, but they don't have a lot of packaged snacks. So when you go on your excursion, it'd be nice to just have something if you get hungry, and especially if you have kids, you always need uh, snacks to, uh, to uh, tie them over until the next meal. Uh, these are water uh, flavoring uh Thing. This is Mio. You might have seen these commercials. It's a, a water flavorer uh, and uh, a water enhancer. I mean, and um, you know, the, the reality is the water on these ships doesn't really taste that good. It's um, it comes. It's sitting somewhere in the bottom of the ship in a big 
vat. And um, it doesn't taste like it. So, you know, if you have a water bottle, you can fill it up with the regular tap water. It's fine to drink, uh, but you know, this will just make it taste better. Uh, sewing kit. This is a, just a real travel size sewing kit. You might not have thought of bringing that, but, you know, if you lose a button or something and you're ready to go on your formal night, and what are you going to do? You know, if you have this thing, you're not searching around for, uh, you know, someone who does. And um, this will just come in handy if you need it. Surge protector. I This is something I bring every single time I go on a cruise. Uh, there's not a lot of outlets on a cruise, so, you know, this just allows you to, you know, have more outlets and so you can plug in your stereo or your... Uh, other things that you have, your chargers, your camera chargers. Uh, moving on, here we have, uh, it's like a, one of those over-the-door uh, organizers. And this is kind of a small one, but, you know, something to consider. You have a lot of little things that you need to bring on a cruise, and this just allows you to put, uh, you know, you can put your sandals in here. You can put, uh, you know, just little things that uh, you want to, you know, keep in, in here. You know, there's not a lot of room in these cruise cabins, so having uh, little extra storage is, is always helpful. This is a small medical kit, and you know you want to have some basic you know supplies in here, band-aids and uh, you know antibacterial ointment and stuff like that. You know you don't want to go on an excursion, get a blister on your foot, and now you've got to go hunt uh, for a band-aid down in the infirmary or something like that. So just you know basic stuff. As far as uh, motion sickness stuff, this here is called Transderm. This is a, actually a prescription, and uh, your doctor will have to. Um, get this for you but you you know it's like a patch you put behind your ear and uh it helps with the um uh, i think it's the equilibrium in your uh, uh in your body and it uh, will prevent you from you know help you at least from getting sick this here is uh something you wear on your wrist it's like a little acupressure thing and that little dot there puts pressure on your wrist and it uh, has been known to help with motion sickness and this is something i picked up at walmart it's called motion ease it's just a um it's like an herbal thing, and, and uh, you put it behind your ear as well. So I, I actually have heard that uh, a friend of mine went on an Alaskan cruise, and she uh, told me that they had to bring in the uh, stabilizers on the ship because of the ice in the water, and it just made the ship rock really bad, and she got sick and wished she had some of those things. Actually had to wait and go down to the infirmary um, to get some um, medication. All right, moving on. Uh, you're going to be eating all kinds of different weird foods and maybe drinking a little bit more, so you might want to bring some Tums, maybe some Advil. If you have children, make sure you bring some Tylenol, maybe a, a thermometer. Don't forget your sunblock. Uh, of course, it's still sunny out there. You still get burned. And uh, you might want to bring some bug spray. Uh, this is uh, off, and uh, this is actually, uh, this bullfrog here is uh, sunscreen and with uh, some uh, insect repellent in it. And, uh, you know, when you go on an excursion, uh, there, you know, it could be in the woods, as it is Alaska, and there could be lots of bugs and things like that, so you don't want to get bit. This here is actually just some air freshener. Um, it's kind of nice to have. Uh, those rooms are pretty small, so you never know. You might need that. This here is an address book, and I would obviously take the addresses out of here. You know, if you uh, get some postcards and you want to mail them, you can get these, um, you know, just want to remember your addresses. Obviously, I'm sure you're not going to forget your camera. hope not, but you want to make sure that you don't forget your batteries the extra batteries that you need for your camera and your battery charger. Uh, this little thing here is a little tripod, which is really nice. It screws on the bottom of your camera, or most cameras. And, um, you know, Alaska is all about the scenery, so you, know, you want to have, you don't have to ask somebody to take your picture all the time. And if you want to get that nice shot with you and the person that you went with, you can just prop it up so you're not searching for a book or whatever to prop your camera on. So I got that at Walmart. That's uh, just, it was cheap too. Uh, flashlight. Uh, unfortunately, uh, from time to time, a um, you know a cruise may lose power. That doesn't happen often, but um, you know having a flashlight uh, is kind of a good idea. This is actually a really cool one. This is a, it's made by LL Bean. It has like a knife in there and and uh, little scissors and stuff like that. So you want to make sure you put that in your uh, your packed bag. Don't no, don't put this in your uh, carry on, obviously. But um, you know just a small flashlight is good. Uh, book. You know, you might be reading a lot of, you know, have time to read finally um, on a cruise. This is my wife's book, not mine. And lastly, we got here, like a little tote bag. You know, you probably go and um, your bag will be packed and, uh, you, you know, might not have any room when you go back to um, pack any of the souvenirs that you might have picked up on your trip. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope to give you some ideas of what to pack. And uh, once again, go over to uh, cruisesecretsexposed.com and you'll find some real valuable information there. I know I did. So uh, have a great cruise and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.